Yo, what's up, peoples? Um, hope you guys are having a great uh, Tuesday. Um, it's re really, really extremely rainy here in Atlanta. Man, it's been bad, man. Like, it's been raining like non fucking stop. I don't know what the fuck is going on, man, but I'm just not a rain guy at all. Only time I like rain is like when I'm high as hell and I'm sitting next to a window. Like, something about that smell of rain, oh, that just puts me to sleep. But besides that, I hate rain. My cars get filthy. Uh, I gotta get my guests, you know, cars that are nasty as far as the outside. You know, I can't really take a car wash. I absolutely hate giving a, a client a dirty car. Um, even if I can't help it, I just hate it. But anyway, man, we're talking about my choice of my next Toro vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna put on the platform. And it was between a, right now I'm debating between a Jeep Wrangler and a Chevy Trailblazer. Um, the, the, uh, not Trailblazer, just called Blazers. Uh, I'm thinking about the old ones. I'm old school with it. Um, but I found a 2016 Jeep Wrangler with 30,000 miles on it that's already fully custom. Um, I mean, it's custom to the T. The only thing I would have to do to the, the Wrangler for me, I feel like I'll just change out the grill. I like the look, the look grills. I'll make it like an angry bird and be like, like, I love those grills, man. Like, it just makes it look so sexy to me. Uh, that's the only thing I it already has the wheels. Um, it's already tinted. It's leather inside. Um, all hard top because I hate the soft top shit. Oh, I can't stand soft tops on, on Wranglers. It's fully hard top. It's awesome. And I do need another SUV in my fleet. Um, here's the problem. Um, I took the car on a test drive. And um, the steering wheel was really, really shaky. Um, at like 50 to 60 miles an hour. Um, after that, it'll straighten up and it'll go back to normal. Um, so I told them, I said, hey, I still like the car, but y'all need to get that checked out. Um, because I know if I can feel it, I know my Turo guest is going to feel it for sure. And the last thing I'm going to do is put uh, any customer in a situation uh, for a few dollars. Um, this is not how I operate. Some owners don't give a shit. I do. Um, the you know so um, when we when I brought the car back, they took it in for service. So uh, service. So it was in service for two days. Then I was supposed to come pick it up. I went to the dealership, and he said, "Oh man, hey man, um, I took it into service, man. Yeah, got the um, you know got it rotated and balanced because they they thought it was just a rotated and balance, which I kind of thought that too. Uh, but it turns out um, because the wheels are aftermarket uh, and they're big, so there's some big ass wheels on it. Um, that it, it, it's causing um, the, the shaking, um, and they said it's kind of normal because of the, 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 the wheels on it. I don't know, man. Um, it, it's gotten me at a point right now. Um, oh, the M6 is so freaking nice, man. I love, see, I love my M6. It just got that wide body look on it. But I don't know, man. Um, it makes me kind of want to go to another dealership with another custom Wrangler and drive theirs to see is that a norm. Um, Cause when I think of that type of shaking, I'm thinking about racket peeing problems, drive shaft problems, tire rod end problems, control arm problems. Um, you know, there's always those certain shits that you, even if you get a warranty that end up not being covered. You know what I mean? Like you, like you, 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 you think you ain't got the best fucking warranty and then, oh, well we don't cover drive shaft. What the fuck? Motherfucker, the warranty, the, the, the warranty was four grand. What the fuck you mean you don't cover no drives there? Um, but, um, so it, it, it's got me a little worried. Now, it's custom the way I like it because if you guys actually see my fleet on Toro, mostly all my cars are custom. Nothing is just completely factory. Um, I do that on purpose. I, I, I put like a little hint of, of customization on my cars. Like my 6 Series uh, has a matte black hood. And, and carbon fiber accents. My Range Rover has 22s on it. My um, S-Class has limo tint all the way around it. Um, oh, and my, my Mustang is just fully custom. The Every every one of my cars is custom besides the Aston Martin. That's, oh my God, it's raining so hard. That's the only car that's not fully custom. Um, <clears throat> the... The... So, so that's where the Wrangler really appealed to me was the um, that it was already fully custom because I really don't have time to keep customizing everything car by car. Like that's annoying, you know what I mean? Uh, to go get new rims and tires um, or, you know, go get the windows tinted 
Um, it's a very tedious thing when you got a lot of uh, a lot of cars. Like my time, my time is very limited. Like going to a, like right now, uh, I was thinking about putting twenty twos on S class, but I think I'm just gonna leave it factory. But like right now, if I if I left my um, if I left my um, god damn it, I forgot my train of thought. I'm so sorry, guys. It was this one car looking like it's about to hit another car. Oh, actually, I think they are. Let me get the fuck back. All right. Anyway, um, but going back to talk about the Wrangler, man. Um, so yeah, it, it's custom the way I like it, man. Like it's it's it's, it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a, a G wagon from the side profile. It looks almost just like it. Um, and if you know one thing about Turo, the number one rented car on Turo are Mustangs. Second is Jeep Wranglers. Um, express. Uh, I'm sorry, especially especially spring and summer time that is the best time to have a wrangler being able to take those panels off man and i was looking forward to it but i just got to thinking i'm like that's not really worth it to put you know my guest in harm's way uh, what a problem uh, underlying problem that i think i know what's going on i just don't want i really don't want to do that and the thing about the Wrangler, now, if this is a normal thing and I go put other aftermarket rims on it myself, I just say, let's say I just go buy another one and I put aftermarket wheels on it, will I have that same problem? So I don't really want to, uh, I don't really think I want to deal with that. So then enters the Chevy Blazer, a 2020 Chevy Blazer. Um, I won't lie, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm a, if I'm going to do a Chevy SUV, I'ma always be a Tahoe and Suburban kind of guy. I I love Tahoes and Suburbans. Um, always will, always have. Every year, every model. Um, the outgoing model though was actually my least favorite though. Um, uh, the new and the new 2021s look great, but the ones that's outgoing, the one that's leaving now, I really don't like it like that. Um, but like I said, I would buy one. Um, but enters the the, the uh, Chevy Blazer. Now, I freaking like that uh, that little ass car, man. I mean that the that it's not little. The SUV, the mid size SUV, I think it's bitching, man. Especially in torch red. If I get one, it's going to be in torch red. I found a sweet one, man. It was like it had like red. It's a red all the way around it with the black grill and the black wheels. I'm like, shit, man. This thing is bitching, yo. Like, um, and. I can get one brand new. Now, mind you, the Wrangler has 30,000 miles on it. Now, the Wrangler will out-rent it um, for now. But I think if I get it in the torch red with the black wheels, I think I'm going to attract a lot of freaking customers, man, to that SUV. Because I found it, I find it extre extremely attractive, especially with zero miles, everything on a factory warranty. I get the free oil changes for the year, everything that Chevy offers, because they did the same thing with my Corvette. Like, I didn't have to pay for oil change for, like, two years, and it got free tire rotations. Um, it was epic. Um, but, you know, I it, it's just something about that car. I just, I'm fucking with it. I really like it. Either that or a Kia Stinger, but I'm, I, but to me, Kia Stingers right now are seeming to get a little bit dated, just a little bit. They they nice looking, but to me, I feel like the Kia Stinger is just getting a little dated, and its shelf life to rent it at top dollar is maybe about a year or two. And it's a Kia. I'm pretty sure they're going to be updating it extremely soon, making the model that's out now a little bit obsolete. Um, not that it, it will stop renting. You just I won't be able to rent it as much as I would with a 2020 uh, Chevy Blazer. That they just you know reinvented that vehicle, so I don't think uh, I'm gonna have a real problem with that. Um, we are at Ford right now. Um, my Mustang has been up here for three months. These guys blew my engine. Yes, Ford blew my engine you about to see it in a second and i'm gonna make a separate separate video about that but guys i kind of do need y'all help i know i ain't got a lot of subscribers but i'm very opinionated and i love people that are opinionated um so anything kind of you know anything to help me help make this decision 
let's see my Mustang real quick, guys, because I haven't even had a chance to really put this on a channel yet, man, because it's been here for three months. Look, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Just sitting there. Oh, poor baby. Man, I'm talking about when I put get that thing on the channel, y'all gonna fucking love this fucking SUV, man. I mean, this Mustang. Y'all gonna freaking love it, man. It's loud as fast as shit. Manual. I probably got the only manual Mustang on the damn um on the damn um YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry, on on Toro. Um, but anyway, what y'all think, man? Blazer, Wrangler. Remember the the Blazer is brand new. However, the Wrangler will outrent it. No doubt. It will outrent the Blazer. Um, and let's just throw the Kia Stinger in there for shits and giggles. Um, and y'all tell me which one y'all think. I'm probably going to be making a decision today. So, if, honestly, if I don't hear from y'all today, I'm probably going to already had a car. Um, and what y'all think about the new Explorers, man? Um, I can get one of these as well, too. What y'all think? New Explorer? It's just to me, it just don't really touch the 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 way the blazer looks. Well, I don't know. This black ST is sexy though. I don't know. I don't know. I like the blazer better. <clears throat> but the Explorer's got way more room, way more practical. So I don't know. All right, guys. So I'm about to get to the dealership, raise hell, find out what the fuck going on, uh, and I'm gonna be making a video about what's going on with the Mustang. Um, all the complications I've had, um, my experience with Ford here, and I will be getting back to you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.